Welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. I'm going to go ahead and just pull some cards. I haven't done one of these readings in a little while. Just pull some cards and see what's going on. See who I need to tune into. And let's get started. Spirit, please show me. There it is. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. Do not let anything stand in the way of whatever it is that you are going after. Hold your vision. Stay fixed. Stay planted. Stay grounded. And do not let anything get the best of you when it comes to your fear, okay? It says hold your vision. There are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. The second, very different interpretation, is that something is stuck. That could be well referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to, re to grease the wheels so that events move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great, because if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Be the one to break a deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection. Yes, just say the word a lot and see how it feels. So attuning to the moon is just saying, yes, yes, I'll do that. Yes, I'll move forward. If you're the one who is keeping yourself stuck, uh, yes, I will do what I can to start moving things out of the way. Um, your additional meanings for this card is staying power, faith, or patience are needed. Someone needs to back down, avoid stagnation. A personal or professional relationship will be endearing. Maybe you guys need to hire a professional. Maybe someone here has been digging their heels in when it comes to their mental health. So you are needing to seek outside the box in order for it to get this person help, okay? Uh, you know, maybe they don't like to get help from outsiders. Maybe you need a plumber, but your husband is always saying, well, I got this. I can do this. I don't need help. And yeah, you do. So maybe it's time for you to call the plumber. Listen, I can keep going on scenarios, but it's up to you to decide. Maybe you need a mechanic. Your husband's not a mechanic. Maybe you're not either. Go somewhere else. It did say something about greasing the wheels. So go to a mechanic and make sure that um, things can move forward that way. Uh, you know, everything that's been going on in the world, we've had a lot of power and control, a lot of fixed energy, people fixed in their belief systems. You know, here's the deal. Hold your vision. If you're thinking, oh my God, we're never going to get out of this. Yes, we are. Look around. We're starting to get out of it. Okay. And I think Jupiter moving into Pisces has really helped with, you know, getting the ball in motion when it comes to, you know, getting us out of the rut that we've been in with the power and control that's been over the top of us. Um, ridiculous. Uh, first card out. Wow, we got the sun. All right. So maybe this has something to do with your kids. For some of you, you know, hold your vision when it comes to your children. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Listen, if this is about health, things can, you know, get better. So I am telling you, you know, this right here shows that, you know, you can have better health, you know, if you're willing to put something in or, you know, put some energy into it. Uh, the sun just says, you know, stay optimi optimistic. Everything is going to work out in your favor. Ace of Cups. Uh, I just saw this. Okay. So we got the Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the star. So yeah, there's been some shit that's been going on. When maybe possibly, like I said, when it comes to your children, for those of you who have kids. For others of you, this is about work. You know, maybe you've been putting in a lot of energy and your work, you're just feeling depleted. You're feeling sad. It's like you invested in this. And maybe now you're starting to see your return on your investment a little bit, okay? But you got to get out of this Five of Pentacles mentality. You know, for some, some of you, you're wanting to offer somebody a date or maybe somebody offered you a date. And now, like, I feel like, I don't know, maybe you got turned down in the past, but I feel like it's coming back around. Um, somebody here feeling, you know, wounded, all right? And like I said, there is help. 
So you look at this five of pentacles and that's a church there and you're seeing how they're wounded here. Okay. But at any point in time, all they have to do is look up and walk into that church and they could get help. So it's saying, hold your vision. Um, quit being stubborn. Yeah, you can do it all on your own, but you don't have to. And the best part is you've got the sun here and the star. The star is about hopes, wishes, dreams coming true. It's keeping the faith alive. And like I said, good health. So if you've been dealing with anything that has to do with your health, God, you guys, these, these cards are awesome. So I feel like, wow, the lover's card, the nine of cups, the sun, the the star, holy crap, like this is amazing. Okay, we got the hanged man in the hopes and fears. And we've got the six of wands, a victory here, success. Bottom of the deck, it is over. Whatever this is, it is over. The pain has ended, okay? It's over. If there has been some type of a dictatorship, it's over. If this has everything to do with what I'm thinking it has to do, and we all know what the hell I'm talking about because it's been our focus for the last two years. Remember when I said somebody who has power and control? Well, guess what? They're moving behind. Looks like um, they didn't get... Uh, <laughs> They're not getting very good votes right now, if you ask me. Um, but here's the deal. The people are winning. So hold your vision. You know, all, you, these things can't hurt you anymore, which is awesome. So this is something that is higher than, you know, just your mundane life. There's other things that are going on, yes, in your life, that, things that are going to move forward. And I'm telling you right now, you have to get over this pain and the lack mentality, okay? I think things are going to work out. Um, in the long run, I do feel like, you know, at this point in time, there's a little bit of sorrow for the people that we've lost. Um, you know, their sorrow, whether that's they crossed over or, you know, they stopped talking to us because of a difference of opinion. Um, I definitely am feeling like either way, there's some type of grief and it's honorable. You know, you have every rights to be, um, you know, to be sad about everything that's happened, but I feel like that's going into the past. I feel like now it's time for you to start focusing on, um, you know, what you want to invest in, what you've already invested in in the past, because I feel like, um, you know, somebody here is, is, is glowing up is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a major, major glow up. I'm seeing um, where you're standing out to others, where, you know, you're being recognized and even being seen as a star. I feel like whoever I'm tuned into, it's almost like you're being watched. I don't know if maybe you have a social media channel or if I'm speaking with a celebrity right now, and, but at the same time, I feel like there's a victory. I feel like people are, um, are, are rooting you on and, and, and they're seeing you for a good or for hard work well done. Okay. Uh, for helping them get through and they're seeing you as their savior. You see the people in the background, they're cheering for him, but please remember, look at the horse. The horse is like looking back going, Hey man, you didn't get here all on your own. Don't forget to give me some extra hay later. You know, like I did this. I think for a lot of you, you're worried about some type of delays. I don't really see that happening. We do have all planets direct, okay? So I would honestly say whatever it is that you have been waiting around on to get started, I think things are getting ready to start moving forward. Head and heart decisions. Head and heart decisions. The lovers. It's time for you to go after the things that you love. It's time for you to go after the things that, you know, really get your heart pumping that excite you again. It's time to get excited again. We've been in this doom and gloom bullshit for too many years. And because of this, uh, the, the, the powers that be, you know, overstepping their boundaries. And yes, it has been painful. Yes. People have lost their businesses. Yes. People have been on unemployment, but do not act like you cannot build yourself even stronger. Now here's the deal. The majority of the people who lost their jobs or lost their businesses either were buried. They couldn't find employees or it wasn't their passion. They just went to work every single day and just because it paid the bills. So the universe kind of did you a favor by wiping it out. Now the whole world is hiring. What do you want to do? It's entirely up to you now. The entire world is hiring. And now you've got the sun here. Your challenge is the ace of cups. Your challenge is, is 
to not be pouring from an empty cup anymore. Quit it with all these, you know, this, you know, crying over spilt milk and the things that have happened. Find the happiness. I just read this thing earlier and it was saying something about the universe um, doesn't, or what is it? What was it? It said the universe doesn't know if you're an actual millionaire or if you act like a millionaire. Either way, it's going to bring you in more. So whether you are a millionaire or you act like you're a millionaire, you know, because you are just vibrant and happy throughout the day, that's when the universe is going to come in. But if you're sitting in this five of pentacles, poor me, woe is me, you know, I've been hurt, I'm a victim, I'm sad, nothing works out for me, well then guess what? You're absolutely correct, and, and these powers that be that took away your freedom, that has taken away your sovereign right to do whatever the hell you want to do with your own body, and everything else, you let them win. Here's the deal, they're going into the past. This isn't happening. I, if you guys have been watching me for a long time now, I've been telling you this isn't going to fly. They're only going to get their day in the sun. And then after that, it's time for the universe to come out and set the, uh, the record straight. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing victory. I'm seeing success. I'm seeing a rebuilding. I'm seeing you finally doing what you've always wanted to do. If you wanted to, you know, build, some, you know, build coffee tables or, you know, build furniture, but yet you've been working in a warehouse, you know, stacking them instead, somebody else's work and building somebody else's empire. This is saying it's time for you to put in the work and invest in your own business. And if you do, everything will work out the way it is supposed to. Again, head and heart decision. This is divinely guided, divinely blessed. And I do feel like people are going to be talking about you. I feel that you are a success. I see where people are going to be coming out of the woodwork and asking you for your services. There they are. There they are. You are seen as a star. You are seen as somebody who is um, the highlight of their field. People are talking about you. Hold your vision, though. Do not be stubborn. Oh, I can't start over. I'm too old. Oh, I can't start over because I've got to pay the bills. The fuck you can't. You got the sun here twice. You got the sun up here and you got the sun there. It's the happiest cards in the deck. It says make a wish. The fact that you've got this many major arcanas, you've got the sun, you've got the star, you've got the... Um, the lovers, and you've got the hanged man. This tells me this isn't just a today reading. This tells me that this is going to be playing out for a while. And like I said, all planets are a go now, okay? We've got Jupiter and Pisces, which is bringing in blessed unions. We've got Jupiter, which is wiping out all this crap that, you know, the elites and all that have been trying to pull over the rest of us. And I'm trying to be discreet because, you know, they are censoring us and, and willing to kick us off of uh, the platform because we're not conforming to, you know, what they want, you know. Um, and, and that's the thing. I will never conform. Um, I do feel like for some of you, you're going to find out that you're pregnant. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of naked here. Okay. Naked, 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 naked. Somebody's getting some sexy time on. Um, you know, if you don't want a baby, wrap it up. Um, but this is also about vulnerability. This is also about alchemy. This is also about happiness, joy, contentment, and having to embody that. You cannot expect something outside of yourself to make you happy. You have to be happy and everything else will fall in line, okay? I see finances getting better. I see business getting better. I'm really liking this reading for you guys. I'm seeing that the powers that be are losing their powers. Um, congratulations, humans. We have made it this far. Um, and I feel like if you can just keep going a little while longer, um, we're getting this. Uh, I do see, even with the trucker convoy, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely getting the trucker's convoy, uh, the freedom convoy, excuse me. Thank you, spirit. The freedom convoy. Uh, I see a win there. Okay. You, you may be hearing about some type of a win. You know, people are cheering them on. Um, you know, they're tired and they're going to keep going until something ends. And I do see where, you know, things get, 
uh, they get turned around. And I think that, you know, people are starting to see things from a different perspective. They are being enlightened right now. So there is going to be some type of a victory for the Freedom Convoy. You're going to go with the here and now. You're going to go with the past. You're going to move towards your future. You are done living in the past. You are done living the life that you were born living. You are now to be stepping into the life that you were born to live. And in order for that to happen, it is going to take you sacrificing your past. It's going to take you letting people, places, situations, jobs, whatever, homes, all of those things are going to have to be let go. And yes, you're going to be in this place of, oh, poor me, woe is me. But guess what? Stay if you can stay in your higher vibration, I'm telling you, all of this can turn around. You do have guides and angels that are watching over you, whether that's ancestors, uh, you know, crossed over loved ones. Um, I do see a father figure here, so they could be trying to reach out um, from the other side. I am kind of getting the empress energy, so it could be a mother, grandmother, you know, whoever it is that you're feeling. I feel like you're going to be getting a message from this individual, uh, very possibly while you're asleep. For some of you, you don't know what's behind that curtain, and I think that that's what scares you, but that's okay. You know, the Nine of Cups is don't be too smug, okay? You don't know what's behind that curtain, door number one. So don't be too smug. I really like this reading, you guys. Here and now, be in the moment. Pay attention to the red flags. Sometimes red flags are not just shiny little things put there for you to look at and enjoy. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you for uh, being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. I did start a new uh, reading. It's called What the Fuck is Going On? If you're interested in that, it's in the description box. Click on the link and it'll take you to my services page. Anyway, you all, I love you all so much and I will chat with you again later. Take care.